very beginning was in the summer of 2006. I had gallbladder surgery scheduled, but when I woke up one night with just pain that made me double over, I actually told my husband to take me to the ER. Once they found out I had gallbladder surgery scheduled, that's what they attributed my pain to. Six months later, I end up in the hospital with double pneumonia. I was on a vent for nine days. That's when they found out I had cardiomyopathy. I had my first heart cath in January of 2007. They found my left coronary artery 100% blocked, and that heart muscle was just there. It was no good. So therefore, I could not have bypass, couldn't have stents, nothing. My husband and my kids, I mean, they were devastated. Start seeing Dr. Ben Simone in 2007. So we were, we were stuck with a woman who's in her early 40s, has a young family, and how do we get her to the next level? How do we take care of her? How do we keep her alive? What are the options? Dr. Ben Simone looks at me and he's like, okay, now it's time for the VAD. Which is one of the newer heart pumps. What the pump is, is, uh, is a centrifugal pump, um, which is installed inside the chest cavities. The pumps work wonderfully well. Um, the problem is the pump needs a power source. So, in a sense, she becomes electrically powered. Uh, she really had two options. Uh, at that point, she could go to Duke and have her pump placed at Duke, or she could be the first uh, patient here at Moses Cone to have a heart pump. She was the first patient at Cone Health, and she's done phenomenal. She um, came out of the hospital within two to three weeks, and since then has continued to get better, and we actually did a 5K this past fall with her. Dr. Ben Simone and Allie drove to Burlington to walk that with me. I said she came in first place in the, in the electrical division of, of the battery powered division. It was just overwhelming to actually see that a patient that couldn't walk from, you know, the clinic door to the office that we could go one and a half, two miles and she was able to complete it. Myself and probably at least three to four other of the VAD patients. We will go and we will talk to the VAD patients before surgery, after surgery, answer any kind of questions they have because they found with me that seeing a real live VAD patient standing in front of them with all the equipment on was a whole lot better than seeing a picture in a book. Yes, we all know women heart patients, we put we still put family first. My health care team knows my husband, knows my kids. They've met my mother. And that is what is important to me. Possibility to me means the possibility that I'll live to be old and gray. That's, that would be my dream, just to just grow old, have grandchildren, and rock on the front porch.